Okay, this is the Twitter interface. And um, you can see that we've been tweeting about the trip here. Up here you'll get my link. And you'll get a link to my website so you can come and actually see you know, my blog and stuff like that. Here you get the list of followers and following. So it says I'm following 572 people, 735 people are following me. Um, I've tweeted 1,890 times over the past two years. Uh, and then it has some pictures of some of the people that I'm following. And so you as a user, if you came here and you said, well, yeah, I kind of think what Jenkins is writing is kind of interesting. Um, now, if I like what Jenkins is writing, and I think he's pretty interesting, then I'm probably going to think some of the people he follows are pretty interesting. Because why would he follow boring people, you know, in that sense? I mean, this is the logic, right? And so you might click on this link here, and you would get a list of all the people I'm following. And you can start to then follow some of them. They would have a little bio there. You could check the things that they've been tweeting about recently. And you can start to then build up a list of people that you would like to follow. And you don't need anyone's permission to follow them. You just, you just follow them. Um, I have no idea these 725 people who follow me. I, I never go and look and see who they are. I, I mean, I do sometimes, but it's not that important to me. Yes? So is something like LinkedIn, is that the same kind of thing? LinkedIn is another social media site. It's uh, more business oriented and it's more, um, you know, putting up your resume, uh, linking to professional colleagues, and sending messages, you know, you can send messages to them. It's a little more closed system. But it is another social media site. Yes? Yeah, what's your thoughts on FriendFeed? Uh, FriendFeed boggles my mind. I, I really can't get my mind around FriendFeed. FriendFeed is sort of an amalgamation of, of Twitter, Facebook, uh, uh, Last FM, Delicious, all these other sites. It basically goes out and pulls your entire presence on all these social media sites and puts it into one place. Frankly, I can't get my mind around it. Um, I use Facebook basically for people I know well, and I use Twitter for people I don't know very well and people I'm trying to follow, and, and getting that fed into one scoop, that's, that's difficult for me to have. Um, yeah, you're on LinkedIn now. Right? Yeah. But let's, um, let's go back to Twitter real fast, because I think that's <laughs> sort of cool place. Questions about Twitter? Any other? Yeah. Or I have a, a question about Facebook. I, I Twitter a lot, and I'm finding that people that I'm following want me to Facebook. Is there a difference between Facebooking for your business and then Facebooking personally? You do both. You can do both. Your business can have its own Facebook page, and you can have your own personal page. Some people that are, are say, independent um, contractors, okay, so somebody who's a business consultant or a marketing consultant, for example, like that might have a Facebook page that combines both. Um, I've got a, a, an in, and so I'm trying to separate the two. My personality is not necessarily the in's personality. Um, so I'm trying to keep that a little separate. Uh, but you could do both. 